Hello, welcome back to these videos. We're reading time with Kit, where I read a different book every day. So hopefully you're enjoying these. Today I'm going to read about adverbs. If you are an adverb, please watch the other ones like last time we did uh, if you are a pronoun. Next time we'll do apostrophe. Well, that's going to be a difficult one, apostrophe. So adverb. So before I start, don't forget to like below, like and subscribe to our channel so we know you're enjoying these videos. And share them with your friends and family. Of course, adverb, when we shorten it, we say A-D-V, like this adverb. And here you can read here. Let me put on my glasses here. If you were, if you were an adverb, you would often end in L-Y. That's right. You could tell people how things happen. Now, that's important. How things happen. How often things happen and when things happen. What else could you do if you were an adverb? Yeah, what else could you do if you were an adverb? We're going to learn a lot of things in this book today. Oh, well, uh, by the way, on the front page, these are all adverbs. Eagerly, fearlessly, skillfully. Yes, adverbs. Uh, here we go. What's this? Uh, powerfully, powerfully. Okay, let's see. On the first page, there's a few pictures of a squirrel here. If you were an adverb, yeah, if you were an adverb, what would you do? If you were an adverb, you could do things quickly. That's right. Or happily, happily. Or eagerly, eagerly. Yes. Or you could do things sloppily, sloppily, messy, yes. Or loudly. Or, of course, you could do things energetically, so having energy, energetically. Okay, let's see next. If you're an adverb, uh, like peanut butter and jelly, verbs and adverbs go well together. Yes, peanut butter and jelly. In America, we call this PB&J. Peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter, yummy. Jelly, yummy. Together, yummy, yummy. Yeah, I'm trying to make a heart here. <laughs> yummy, yummy. So yummy, yummy in your tummy. So yes, verbs and adverbs go together. Peanut butter and jelly. For example, here, if you were an adverb, you would work closely with verbs. Yes, just like this PB and J sandwich. Okay, let's see. Verbs. Verbs tell us something happened. If you were, so of course, verbs tell us when something happened. So something that happened, we know from verbs. If you were an adverb, you could tell us how something happened. That's right. So verbs tell us what happened. Adverbs tell us how it happened. For example, here, the snowboarder skied gracefully down the mountainside. Yes. So skied, of course, the verb gracefully is how he skied. He had grace. Here we go. And he fell. Yeah, he fell awkwardly at the bottom yes so of course this is snowboarding me too i did the same thing i knew how to uh my first time i snowboarded i knew how to skateboard before that so they didn't my friends didn't really teach me much so i i could uh snowboard quite well i guess but i didn't know how to stop and so this is how i stopped my friends were yelling get get fall 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 and i did fall and i broke uh, I cracked three ribs, yes, but yes, it was a, uh, I don't know if it's on me or on them, but nobody taught me how to stop. They told me, they told me just be careful of the trees. So I tried to go as straight as possible, which means I went very fast. Uh, I skied quickly. Let's see. If you were an adverb, you might have a tail. That's right. Many adverbs end in the letters L-Y, and I want to point out many, not all. I want to say at the beginning of the book, but I wanted to wait for this one. Because it's not all. Everything in English is not 100%. But many adverbs end in L-Y. For example, here, you can see a few examples here. So, how did the bear give? Uh, sorry, how, dive. how did the bear dive? Of course, here we have perfectly. Or here, clumsily. Or here, speedily. So, how did he dive? And here, the yellow ball player. Sorry, can I read this? Ah, the volleyball. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to read this backwards. The volleyball player hit the ball sharply and powerfully. A player on the other side jumped fearlessly. Yeah, he jumped fearlessly on the other side into the air. Yes, so here. Yes, fearlessly, yes. So sharply, powerfully, fearlessly. That's all adverbs. Here we go. If you were, if you were an adverb, you would work at the beginning, the middle, or the end of the sentence. Yes. For example, here this is a great one. You can see the runners in here. Let's see. Rapidly, rapidly the runner rounded the curve, or the runner rapidly rounded the curve, or the runner rounded the curve rapidly. 
So you could go, of course, at the beginning, rapidly, the runner, or the runner rapidly, or at the end, the curve rapidly. So you can use any time to describe something. Ah, but I should mention, don't forget the comma. If it's at the beginning, rapidly, comma. We had another book. Please watch that video. Maybe I'll link it above. Is uh, If you were a comma. So watch that to understand. You need a comma there. Here you go. If you were an adverb, you could tell us how often something happens. How often? For example, here. Uh, yeah, let me see. Oh, yeah, here are some examples. So the long jumper always jumps more than 20 feet. 20 feet is about 6 meters. Or we could say the long jumper often jumps more than 28 feet, which is how much? 8.5 meters. Yeah, always means every time. Always. Maybe... Um, I don't say 100%, maybe 95% is always. Often, maybe it's more like 60% uh, or 70%. So, of course, it tells us how, like here, it says exactly. If you're an adverb, it tells us how often something happens. So, let's see next. If you are an adverb, uh, you could tell us when something is going, uh, sorry, going to happen. Uh, you could be... So you could be something now, later, today, tomorrow, or yesterday. Yes. For example, here. Some teams will play now. Yeah, now. In Japanese, ima. Some teams will play now. Or here. Some teams will play later. So some teams will play now. Some teams will play later. So you'll tell us when something happened. Let's see. Next. Here we go. If you were an adverb, you could help adjectives describe things better. Yes, this is a great use. A lot of people forget these are these are um, adverbs. Some athletes are somewhat tall. Uh, sorry, some somewhat short. Uh, short is of course an adjective. But somewhat means how much. Not really short, just somewhat, maybe a little bit short. Or here, some athletes are very tall. Again, tall is the adjective. Very so extremely tall. Yeah. Some my Italian restaurant has some waitresses that are very tall, uh, much taller than me. Then here we go. Some athletes are immensely muscular. Muscular, of course, the adjective. Immensely, really, a lot of muscles. You can see he has a lot of muscles here. Okay, here. Some athletes are extraordinarily fast. So extraordinarily means more than ordinary, more than average. So more than average fast. Some athletes are very very quick. And here, some athletes are too busy practicing. Yes, so they're busy, but too busy. Uh, they're busy too much. Yes, let's see. And we only have three more pages, so please stick until the end. Here we go. If you were an, uh, sorry, if you were an adverb, you could modify other verbs. For example, the crowd watches very closely as the athletes complete. Uh, sorry, compete extremely well. So again, here, yes. Is that it? Yes. You, If you're an adverb, you can modify other adverbs. Yes. So in this case, very and closely, both adverbs. Extremely and well, both adverbs. So again, the crowd watches very closely. How closely? So closely, very, very closely. Uh, as the athletes compete extremely well. Not just well. Extremely well. Really, really well. Okay, one more page. Let's see. Oh, here we go with a trophy. Uh you would put together super sentences if you were an adverb. Yes, if you were an adverb, you could put together super sentences. Like I said, adverbs describe how things happen or when things happen. So adverbs are not necessary to a sentence. But as it says here, you could put super sentences together. By adding the adverb, it makes it uh, more, um, how do I say, colorful or flowerful. It's like a flower. It, it's a flowery language. You can understand it better. That's what some people like uh, Stephen King says. You should avoid adverbs or obvious adverbs. You should shorten, I think, uh, shorten your sentences that a lot of authors say. But when you're speaking or when you're learning a new language, of course, adverbs make it colorful, your language. How something happens or when it happens. Thanks again for watching. This is If You're an Adverb. Again, next time we'll do If You Were an Apostrophe. Wow, well, interesting one, difficult one too. And, uh, and the last in these series is if you're a preposition, you can see here, uh, this poster here, uh, here is actually all the books I've done so far in this series, if you were. We can thanks here for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to here and watch some other reading time uh, with Kent and us, some other popular videos on our channel. Thanks again, and 
Thanks for everybody who watched until the very end. And see you in tomorrow's video. See you.